Hello everyone. Today, I thought I'd go thrifting. I haven't been in a while, so I thought it would be fun if we went together because I'm kind of getting bored of my clothes. I also don't have a huge budget right now. Thrifting's perfect for that. That's the plan for today. There's a lot of charity shops, but there's also some like curated vintage shops as well that I've walked past. I'm excited. I haven't been shopping in ages. So yeah, let's go thrifting. And now I want to do like a haul of the things that I got. I didn't get loads of stuff because I just don't see the point in getting things if you don't love them because I'm not gonna use it if I don't. So yeah, I've also added in some other things that I've thrifted within like the past few months, which are also very exciting. But before we do get into that, I do just want to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Skillshare. You know I love them already and I've been using the platform for over a year, I'm pretty sure. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's just a creative learning platform and they've got classes on 
so many different things like photography, art, illustration, music. And I've been taking a class this week by a woman called Catherine Kellogg and she's all about sustainability and trying your best to live a sustainable life. The class is called Sustainable Living Basics if you want to try it yourself. There is a link in my description box and the first 1,000 people to click it will get a free one month trial of Skillshare Premium. And let me know if you try it and which class you want to do because I'm always looking for new ones to do. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's get into the clothes. Okay, where should we start? We'll start with, I think it was an Oxfam that I went into. I got this jacket and it's got one of those vintage labels on it. A lot of charity shops I've seen have been curating some sections of the shop a little bit more higher quality items or maybe designer pieces obviously you can charge more for those things and it also makes it easier for the person who's buying stuff because you can go straight to that section if you don't have a lot of time or you can't be bothered to sift through all of like the really bad stuff i got this red bomber jacket i don't really know what it is it's a harrington jacket this is by the brand melka quality menswear so you know really i shouldn't be wearing this because i'm not a man and it says it's an extra large but i mean it fits me kind of perfectly so i'd say it's more like a medium large but yeah is this not just like so me i love this color and i love things that kind of look slightly faded like someone's worn it before me it also makes it so much comfier when it's not brand new and it's already been like softened in the wash let me try this on here she is i love it even though it's august in the uk it's still like rainy and wet and a little bit cold so it's always good to have jackets and i don't really have many actually it's got an elasticated waist which i like because it like cinches in rather than like falling down my hips and making me look like shapeless and this color oh, i just love it so much and we also love anything with pockets this is going to be perfect for autumn slash winter because I can wear like a hoodie underneath it or a jumper and it's not going to be way too hot. And this jacket was £15, which I guess for a charity shop seems quite expensive, but it was in like the vintage section. If I was to get this at like Urban Outfitters, it would probably be at least 50 quid. So I'm happy. So that's the jacket. I'm so happy with it. Where should I go next? So I went to Oxfam Books. I found another John Green book. They do seem to be in there quite a bit. I don't think that says anything about John Green's writing. I think he's great. <laughs> I just think, you know, teenagers tend to read them and then grow out of them and probably give them away. I got this book, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I don't know anything about this book. I just know that it's John Green and that loads of people have like said it's good. I'll read the back for you. One cold night in a most unlikely corner of Chicago, two strangers cross paths. Two teens with the same name running in two very different circles suddenly find their lives going in new and unexpected directions, culminating in heroic turns of heart and the most epic musical ever to grace the high school stage. Okay, this actually sounds really good, yay. And it was only two pounds. Two pounds for a book, that's great. And the second book that I got, don't judge me, I got a JK Rowling book. I know we don't support her, but I'm intrigued about her other books that aren't Harry Potter. Also, the money that I spent doesn't go to her at all. It goes to charity. So like I'm fine with buying this book. So this is The Casual Vacancy and I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. I'm not sure if they're disappointed because they were expecting something like Harry Potter or I don't really know if people don't like it because they've got a bias against her. So I will see for myself <laughs> whether it's good. I'll read you the back again. In the idyllic small town of Pagford, a councillor dies and leaves a casual vacancy, an empty seat on the parish council. In the election for his successor that follows, it is clear that behind the pretty surface, this is a town at war. Rich at war with poor, wives at war with husbands, teachers at war with pupils. Pagford is not what it seems. From the smallest of elections in a sleepy British town, JK Rowling conjures an epic, emotional and compulsively readable tale that has millions of readers hooked. If you want to see what I think about this, 
I will probably post about it on my Instagram and also I will track it on my Goodreads account. If you enjoy books, follow me there. Oh, and this was only £1.50. Next up, I went to a British Red Cross shop, but this shop was specifically all vintage slash retro. And I found this jumper. It is a navy little knit jumper by Lacoste. And this was £20, which again is pricey for a charity shop, but for a vintage shop, like that's actually pretty good. This is a wool jumper and it is so incredibly soft. I also love this colour and don't have any jumpers this colour. It's in very good condition. And yeah, I think this is going to be perfect for autumn, winter because it's not like super thick. So I can wear something underneath it as well. I'm going to try it on for you. How cute is this? I would definitely wear this outfit, maybe with a white t-shirt um, underneath so it like peeks through. And then also my docks on to give like a, I don't know, a preppy vibe. I really like this. So those were actually the only things that I got on my trip today. But like I said earlier, I'm gonna throw in some things that I bought over the past few months because they definitely deserve a mention. Maybe like a month ago, I did the exact same shops down Botanic Avenue with my friends and the cancer research was amazing that day. But I found this. This top was initially like really long so i just cropped it it's very like on trend with the colors and the pattern as well and it's by the brand george is that george asda this is it as it is i don't really wear it like this i've just been doing this and like tying it in a knot around the back it looks a bit funny when it's just like sticking out so i like tuck it under <laughs> pretty sure this was like three pounds maybe so this was cancer research and that's the last thing that i bought from like a normal charity shop the next few things i'm going to show you are actually from my friend's shop it is called Mung collective i'll put their instagram on the screen it's literally the coolest shop in northern ireland if not the whole of ireland people literally drive up from the south just to come to this shop because there's literally nothing like it around basically it's like if you were shopping on depop and you found all the best things well they're all in that shop <laughs> so you don't have to do any of the digging around to find like the hidden gems it's all just there for you so let's actually get to the stuff okay so first off the top that i was just wearing this ramones t-shirt and i absolutely love this it's one of those band tees which are actually like good quality but yeah it makes me feel really cool next I got, I got this jumper. It's a Nike jumper. Nike, I don't know how to say it. Does anyone? Yes, a nice beige colored jumper. But yeah, this is an extra large, so it is kind of massive on me, but I do like the oversized fit. Unfortunately, I did get some tomato sauce on this. Hopefully I can get that out. <laughs> Classic me. So yeah, that's this jumper. And something that I love to wear it with is these Ralph Lauren trousers green corduroy that is like so me i'm gonna have to put my hair up because i'm getting so hot here are the trousers are these not amazing and i found them so randomly i was in with lauren my flatmate she works in the shop and we were just looking through like some of the new stock that was behind the counter and i saw them and i grabbed them before anyone else could sorry but <laughs> I had to do it. Perks of knowing the owner. But yeah, these trousers are amazing and they are Ralph Lauren. And can you guess how much I bought them for? I bought them for 40 pounds. Normal trousers, new, will cost at least 40 pounds, if not like 70 to 100 pounds. And these are designer. But the last thing that I bought from Mern was this beautiful skirt. It is by a brand called Pomodoro. Pomodoro. It's this lovely orange color and it has I don't know, a paisley pattern on it um, and a lot of beads as well. Kind of a mid-length and really floaty and breezy. It is a tiny bit big around my waist, so I will show you how I fix that problem. It kind of looks okay with a t-shirt or a jumper or something like this. I think it probably looks best with a little like crop top. It's a little bit big around the waist. I'm gonna show you how I fix it. Where's my hairband? Oh, it's in my hair. It kind of slopes down this way. So to emphasize that a little bit and to tighten it, I kind of scrunch this here and get a hairband and tie it around here. <laughs> Don't mind the socks, they look really weird with this. 
so yeah that's how i deal with that issue so yeah that is this skirt and also the last thing in this big haul i hope you liked everything as much as i do i had lots of fun thrifting today and if you do live in like the belfast area i hope i gave you some ideas of where to go if you have any other suggestions of where to go please tell me and also thank you so much to skillshare again for sponsoring this video don't forget to click the link in my description box if you want a free trial of their premium membership i hope you enjoyed this video and all of my clothes i can't wait to wear them all and show you all of my outfits that i put together with them and i'll see you in my next video Okay. Bye. Don't you leave.